Our next speaker is uh, Mandy Chu uh, from Tianjin University, and she's going to talk about a novel synthetic gene trigger. Good afternoon, everyone. It's my great honor to come here to present our project, Engineering Bacteria to Implement Trigger Control. And this is the IGM project that we did last year. Okay, my presentation will include the following three parts. The first one is an introduction to trigger response, time delay, and the synthetic biology. And the second part is the result, which include design, modeling, and the in vivo validation. And the last part is the conclusion. Okay, let's move on to the first part. Changes in environmental uh, intracellular and intracellular conditions would trigger a series of response to uh, of, of the organism in many different uh, biochemical processes and the different time and the spatial scales. So uh, examples can be found in many systems such as such as caspase activation and apoptosis and signal transduction cascade, T cell and B cell activation, tumor surveillance and stress adaptation and so on. So this kind of a special uh, response make us think of the uh, RS trigger, which is the essential element in electrical world. So we wonder if we can construct a genetic circuit, which could uh, realize the same function and can study the principle and the kinetic behind this trigger response. And the synthetic biology brings us a bright prospect and makes it possible to decouple complex biological system and redesign and construct a functional gene network for practical purpose. So and the objective of our project is using biological and chemical components to reproduce the behavior of trigger in a living system. Meanwhile, a universal phenomenon named the time delay attracts our attention. And the gene expression circuitry with time delayed expression profiles regulate the key events such as oscillating system, noisy elimination, and the coordinated multi-step processes. So we integrate time delay to gene network design to implement trigger control. OK, let's look at this picture. The two states of the input signal are demonstrated as A and B. If the input signal stays in one uh, steady state, there will be no output signal uh, represented as zero. But if the input signal transfer, uh, transfer from one state to another, the output signal would change into one. And design the two its original states as the input signal achieving another steady state. So the gene circuits could respond to a disturbance of the input signal and exhibit transit output signal. Uh, the network in this picture shows the design the gene circuit, and IPTG was chosen as the input signal to induce the like promoter and drive the expression of lax I and CI proteins. And cell cell communication system of QRM sensing was incorporated to collective the expression of output signal JFP. Without the IPTG, the expression of lax I and CI protein were repressed. Although the LXR gene and the CI promoter transcripted continuously, there was no detectable expression of JFP. When the inhibition of like promoter was released by adding IPTG, LXI and the CI um, proteins can uh, generate it and, uh, and the sufficiently high concentration of CI protein would inhibit its promoter and uh, no more lux R protein were generated. And, but the generated lux, I pro, uh, lux R protein uh, can't degrade instantly, so there will be a, uh, will be a short time when HL and lux R coexisted, so the JFP was uh, expressed. And after a short time of lux R degradation, there, uh, the lux R was consu uh, consumed uh, gradually and become insufficient to bind with AHL. So the lux promoter was shut off and no more uh, JFP was detected. And all these genes were provided by the Bellbrick Foundation. And we like to learn together using the stand operation of Bellbricks. And we put a lux I gene upstream to inhibit the leakage, for, leakage, leakage expression from life promoter. 
and all the constructed uh, gene circuit was transformed to E. coli. Now we constructed a mathematic model based on ODE to simulate the dynamics of synthetic gene circuit and predict the associated properties of trigger control. Upon FG induction, GIP was firstly enhanced as the AHL and LUXR bonding is LUX promoter and was weakened as the LUXR degradation. So a peak of GFP expression was, was, was shown. And this picture shows the parameter sensitivity analysis that the strong strength of, uh, of like promoter, CI promoter, and LUX promoter has the greatest effects on the system. And this picture is the um, corporate effect of like promoter and CI promoter. And a wide variance of gene circuits elements were established to test robustness and stability, as the original parameters were, not, were multiplied by several times. The system could maintain its stability with a possible accumulation of GFP. Now we test the function of our system independently using FDG and the corresponding AHL. The Florence measurements of the grown culture were taken at a regular time interval over a period of 13 or 16 minutes using Florence's spectral topometer. And the concentration of AHL was determined by a semi quantitative method and demonstrated as GFP uh, intensity generated by the detecting cell. First, the effect of IPDG concentration was investigated, and uh, as we can see, for low concentration IPDG induction, the initial GFP expression was, uh, was lower when compared to the high concentration group. And uh, for IPDG concentration about 0 0.02 millimole per liter, and the GFP appears to have the same initial re uh, rising slope and a similar maximum level. So and the optimal concentration of IPDG was 1.5 millimole per liter, and the system could respond immediately after IPDG addition and have a great sensitivity to external stimuli, since the minimal concentration of IPDG required for cell induction was very low. Now we, sorry, now we add IPDG at different cultivation time. Adding IPTG earlier would cause uh, an earlier accumulation of GFP, and the max level was higher than the adding IPTG in OD 0.6. Uh, and the interesting uh, phenomenon was found that if we, uh, there was no expression of GFP, if we add IPTG during the stationary phase, uh, and a um, parallel experiment was conducted by directly adding AHL into the culture, and an expression of GFP was observed. So the reason may be uh, the low activity of like promoter or the low activity of uh, less I protein to catalyze the synthesis of AHL during the stationary phase. So the optimal cell density for adding IPTG ranges from 0 0.4 to 0 0.5, and the early log phase was suitable for adding IPTG since the expression of LUXR could be repressed earlier, and we could get, have more time to get detailed data before cell stepping into the stationary phase. And finally, the, we test the system response with four different groups. Directly adding, adding AHL into the culture result in a slower but more intense tolerance of GFP. And adding, adding FTG, the GFP was initially rise up and then tend to be stable at a specific value, about 415. And this difference shows that, indicates that the, CI, the generated CI protein could repress the LUXR expression. And if we add AIIA protein generating cell into the culture, the GFP was no more accumulated and be, tend to be stable at a lower value, about 215. 
And this picture is the AHL concentration detected by the detecting cell. Upon FG induction, the jet concentration of, of AHL um, increased rapidly and uh, tends to be stable. And uh, if we, uh, under the digestion of AIIA protein, the AHL was soon consumed and uh, fell to the baseline level. As we can see, the output of our single of our system, GFP tends to tends to be uh, stable at a specific value instead of falling to zero. Even when AIIA almost uh, consumed the HL totally, GFP was also stable at a relative lower level. And then this mainly results from the strong stability of this kind of GFP and cause a de de deficient sensitivity of output signal. So, uh, since mutant GFPs uh, can be created with shorter half-life, so uh, we should diminish the uh, half-life of GFP to about less than one hour to get a better output. Or we can change the FTG with different various signals. Okay, that's the conclusion. First, the time delay arising from the degradation of lac R protein provided enough time interval to make GFP accomplish expression. And the second, integrating with the time delay and the components of a quorum sensing system, the gene circuit could respond to a disturbance of the input signal. And the third, the experiment and analysis could provide improved understanding of the cellular response to external stimuli and the principle of engineering cinema genetic networks. And the last one, okay, our, thank you. our genetic trigger provides another building block for the general purpose of engineering coordinate behavior in cellular control. Okay, this is our team. We really appreciate the great teamwork and the wonderful experience with synthetic biology. We thank our professor, advisor, Professor Yin Jingyuan, and the financial support from Tianjin University and the National Natural Science Foundation of China. We also thank the Bell Briggs Foundation for providing us the Bell Briggs. Okay, thank you for your attention. Um, okay, the floor is open. Uh, questions? So may I have one? So at the end you mentioned that um, you can use the GFP variants. What, what was the per, um, final target, actually how sensitive do you want it to be? Uh, when you try to manipulate the stability of GFP? Yeah, uh, in our result, the GFP tends to be stable, but not fell down to the baseline level. So uh, ideally, we want the FTG to, to accomplish this, this change, and the, design, and the trigger function could, uh, could implement. But at the output, our signal is, uh, tends to be stable. So maybe in future, we may change the GFP to, uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to, to make it uh, more easily to decompose and uh, it will, maybe it will descend to the baseline. So, so what's the target time that you're, you're thinking about the stability? Yeah, you're I think it's like maybe uh, an less, uh, less, than, less than an hour. Because the, CI, um, the half life of CI protein is about the one less, less than an hour. So we want to make the half life of GLP uh, just uh, the same level with CI protein. Questions? Um, the GFP that you guys were using for your system, did that have the LVA tag? Because there's, um, I know in the, reg in the registry, there's this tag that you can get on the end of GFP that causes yeah. it to be degraded much faster. Yeah, um, the GFP used in this system uh, 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 don't have any tag uh, because um, uh, before we started the experiment, we, we, we didn't notice this. this. So uh, after we, we after the experiment result will come out, and we think the GFP is the most uh, most uh, uh, is the problem of our design. So the first thing that we want to do is to uh, change another GFP with with more with a tag. Okay. All right. So uh, any more questions? No more questions, then thanks.